Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemskull and welcome to a look at the new Architect Homes in Sims Freeplay. These were released into the game on about the 19th, 18th, 19th of November 2017. So if you are watching this video a little bit after that, then these obviously are not available any longer. But we have 13 homes. 13! That is a lot. The theme for these homes is supposed to be like kid houses, so I'm hoping that they're going to have like a lot of toddler furniture and things those toddler things quite often cost a lot of lp to get so this potentially could be a good one as we've got so many houses to go through i think we will be very quick as we go through them all 13 is a lot i don't feel like we've had 13 for a long time i'm going to be looking at them all on a premium size lot but obviously some of them can be built on a standard size lot and they will be cheaper if you build them on a standard size lot here's our first house straight away i love it i like the whole big long pool going down the side we've got a little bit of scandinavian furniture there which i love but never get it because it always costs so much this is a nice house this kitchen furniture sp maybe it's not simoleons anyway definitely i may build this house you know i like that that's like a little vegetable patch at the back how cute is that i've never seen anything like that before little veg patch and they've used the, the fake turf uh, patio texture that's so cool let's have a little look downstairs in the basement we've got a cinema going on down there and a bar which is LP to buy and then if we go ahead and go upstairs I have never seen like the first build is always like obviously it's the not the worst but it's like the cheapest to get and so it's normally not quite so good but this house is amazing we've got scandinavian tv scandinavian bed and some more furniture there oh, and one of these this is 35 sp i think to get i'm building this house i really really like it and we've got another floor wow okay yeah definitely building this we've got some kids stuff here this is getting built as soon as i finish this video i'm going to put this to build here's house number two this could be built on a standard size lot and what have we got? Anything? We've got some Thanksgiving tables. It's almost Thanksgiving. Is it is Thanksgiving? I'm not American, obviously, as you can tell by my accent. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Is it this Thursday, I believe? It's like the fourth Thursday in November, something like that, I think. Happy Thanksgiving to any American viewers. What have we got? Nothing crazy rare or anything. We've got a basement. Hmm. Pretty, yeah, not really anything. Like this. And then upstairs. Yeah, we've got some kids' stuff. Have we got another floor, maybe? No, we haven't got another floor. Um, I mean, I probably won't be holding that. There's nothing too rare or too LPSP worthy in there, so possibly not. Here's the third architect home. Let's have a little look at it from the outside. Looks pretty good. It's a large house, as you can see, on a standard, not on a standard on a premium lot we got ooh, a record player and a bonsai tree I feel like a bonsai tree costs LP what else do we have I like this nothing really LP or SP or anything but I quite like the build let's go we've not got a downstairs not got a basement so we'll go upstairs and Another record player, we've got a magical unicorn painting that was a limited time prize. There is some nice stuff. Possibly some of this kid's stuff is LP, but I mean, I don't know to be honest. But they have like different versions, don't they? The tea set, like they have three different versions. This could potentially be the version that's LP, or it could be the one that's the mold simoleons. I don't exactly know to be honest. So it's a reasonable house. I think it's a remodel, isn't it? Of one of the homes that we have in the game already possibly here's the fourth house and we've got some candy canes at the front door why not we're getting up towards christmas i suppose we have two pools and let's have a look at it, actually what it looks like okay it's two floors i kind of like this build we could probably do with some more windows but i like the front balcony changing but i kind of like it let's see what we got inside Oh, little Christmas. Uh, they're getting ready for Christmas. They've slowly started to put out the decorations in this house. Have we got anything that's kind of... 
kind of random to be honest. But uh, we've not finished up LP or SP, we've got it downstairs though. Um, kind of its own self contained like little flat down here, I think. Isn't it? Let's go upstairs. That is a strange position for a bed, right? Who would put a bed? Surely you put your headboard against the uh, against the wall. Don't suppose it matters, but <laughs> strange position for a bed. No, I mean, you know, I don't think I'll be building this house. There's nothing that sort of is LP or SP. It wouldn't be worth it for me, to be honest. Here is the fifth house, and it could be built on a standard size lot. Two floors. Oh, I like the look of it. Let's have a little look. What it has got, very black and white theme. I like that bed. We've got a black piano and we've got a fish tank. If you would like those items. That is the fancy dog kennel as well that costs LP to buy. Which you may want. We've got anything. Ooh. Oh, look at this like laundry room down here. I love it. If you didn't do the laundry live event, you won't have got these prizes, so you may want to get it for those. I like that basement. Let's go upstairs and kids' room with a little rocket bed. That's cute. Quite a few kids' rooms actually. I like that desk. Would that come with the teen life? If you didn't do the teen life event, I think that that one came with it. Pretty awesome. I'm same over this one. And this side, same, same desk, but just like different colour scheme. What is that called? The like cheese tasting thing, which is really random to be honest. But it's kind of I love it. If you didn't get that in the, I have no idea where we got that from. French romance, something or other. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Here is our sixth house. Could be built on a standard size lot. I have a feeling that this is potentially a bit of a Christmas. Yes, look, it's got some Christmas windows. I can't wait for the Christmas stuff to come back into the game. I absolutely love it. Uh, it will be soon, surely. We'll have our Christmas update pretty soon. We're coming to the end of November. Uh, we have the, is that a candy floss, makeup, whatever that is, we have that. <laughs> Don't use it whatsoever in my game. I just, maybe I should, build something where that would fit in. I have no idea. Have you used that in your game? And if you have used it, what, why have you used it? Like, for what purpose? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> we got a wedding arbor, which is a couple of LP. We got a Christmas door. And, oh my goodness, yes, we have Christmas wallpaper everywhere. And we got some cookies and things. So if you haven't got any of these items, I mean, I'm assuming every year at Christmas, we get the same furniture for a limited time over Christmas so these items should be I'm assuming coming back to the game uh, over the next well before Christmas so if you want to get a head start maybe on decorating a Christmas house then you could maybe build this house so you get a few of the items or even like with the wallpaper because you could use this room like keep this house and then remodel it but keep the wallpaper because obviously once you change the wallpaper at the moment we haven't got these wallpapers available to us so you wouldn't be able to change them back but yeah uh, let's go upstairs and yeah here we go look there's more of the christmas wallpaper we've got some of the mistletoe archways in the house i love it i love the stairs christmas stairs are just so cool i love them so much i haven't got any christmas i remember last christmas i'm going off and i'm trying to i said i'd go through these houses quickly didn't i but last christmas i when we still had the, did we have the glitch last Christmas for the, and I went through and I glitched loads of Christmas items so that I would have, because quite a few of them are LPs and stuff, so I glitched them so I'd had loads and loads and loads of them. And then obviously I lost my game, if you haven't seen that, when was it, maybe back in May or sometime of this year? I, well, I lost my phone, which had my game, and my game wasn't backed up. So I've been given, very kindly given, Sims Freeplay gave me another uh, level 55 game so it's not too bad but i have lost all of my kind of infantry items that i had sneakily glitched and got loads of that i wanted so i haven't got any more but anyway <laughs> let's continue looking at this house this has got loads of kids furniture and stuff in which is cool it's got a candy cane not a candy cane a candy floss tree which is awesome i love this rocket like love that rocket that was available in a simtam market event recently so maybe i may build this actually it's got quite a lot of stuff in. 
like some of these teddies uh lp oh look there's that tea set there <laughs> compared to the other pink one that we saw a few houses ago was it that's a cheaper version maybe that pink one was lp i love that turkey yeah i like this house actually just for some of the items and things and for some of the Christmassy stuff i made like build it and then try and keep as much of like the how the the rooms with the wallpaper and things and I don't know maybe I will <gasps> this bookshelf here I love this bookshelf look at it it's like does it turn I feel like it turns yeah there we go it turns how cool is that and it's a little like fairy tale castle so awesome right have we got another no we haven't it's a pretty it's pretty cool it's got quite a few good items in that house here's the seventh house and okay let's have a little look as a whole oh it's got purple purple walls let's see have we got anything lp sp anything rare not really dj booth maybe record player possibly let's have a look we've we got a basement we have got a basement but there's nothing really in it and let's go upstairs and oh we've got a couple of items in here this has got quite a few items, possibly, like the bricks are worth te um, 12 LP, I think. May build this. I'll have to kind of see, I'll have to like come back into it and kind of go and check what each of the items are worth of whether I will build that. But it's quite a good build. Here's the 8th house and ooh, this is what it looks like from the outside. They've taken a lot of care as to what it looks like from the outside I feel. I love how they've kind of enclosed that backyard area. That's awesome. Let's take a little look what we've got. So we've got a, okay, we've got a Christmas tree. This is getting built because we've got a Christmas tree. Yeah, absolutely. I need to get that because I want to start doing like a Christmas house or something. When you decorate actually your own house, I've been thinking next week or this weekend I may decorate. Normally I do the first weekend uh, in December. The weekend is the second and the third. It always takes me so long. Like it really does take me like a few days to decorate. It's not just like whack up the tree and I'm done. It takes me a while. Let me know down below in the comments when you are going to decorate for Christmas. I really like this house. They've taken a lot of care. Let's go and look at the net. There's nothing kind of SP really or LP or anything. What are the windows and doors like? Oh, the door, the windows are SP windows. I just really like this house. It's like, look, like this area here. It's just like the hallway, is it? Yeah, it's like the hallway upstairs. But they've just, rather than just having nothing there, they've made this cute little TV room. Really thought through. I like it. This person is excellent at building houses. <laughs> Here is the ninth house. Quick overview of what it looks like. We seem to have a lot of these ones with like the granny flat down at the bottom, don't we? Let's take a little look what we have. Straight away I can see we've got two of the dog kennels and a couple. Wow, okay, yeah, we have quite a few of those cheese board tasting things. Again, this looks like an excellently decorated house that someone's really taken the time on and really thought about everything. I really, wow, yeah, I really like this. Nothing LP or SP, particularly, oh, yes, fondue set. You know how I love a good fondue set. Uh, oh, we have, oh, another fondue set there, actually. And we've got the Fire Monkeys statue. Some of the dog stuff. If you haven't unlocked Berkshire Pet Park, this is what you, will you win this from part of Berkshire Pet Park? So if you haven't done that, you may want to, um, Get this, those diving boards look like the expensive diving boards. This is an awesome house. Another fondue set. Let's go and take a little look. Scandinavian TV there. Let's take a look upstairs. Ooh, and then all this kid stuff. Some of that kid stuff is worth LP. I am definitely building this. We've got some pinball stuff. So again, if you haven't unlocked the ice cake arcade or whatever it's called uh, then you will not have them yet some more scandinavian stuff here i 
love this. A couple of Scandinavian TVs. Right, yeah, this is getting built. This is amazing. Here's the 10th house and standard size lot. We've got, oh, okay, we've got a basement, a couple of floors. Okay, wow, okay, yeah, we have got a couple of floors. It's on the gingerbread lot, which is such a cool lot. It kind of doesn't really fit in with anything other than like to build a gingerbread house on, like, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Oh, wow, okay, we get quite a few blocks. I may have to build this just for the items inside, possibly. Lots of kids' toys here and some candy cane where it doors and then downstairs if you didn't get the gingerbread furniture I don't think it's available to us just as normal is it you have to have done an event or something to have it this is look is it's like a daycare I feel like this is like a daycare and that's where they I love how look but they would they use the party dance mat things by the beds and then we've got it upstairs this I mean Pretty empty room, there's not nothing really done. There's got an Easter egg. That's that's getting a bit too prepared, isn't it? Talking about Easter. Let's do Christmas first, right? This is pretty wow, loads of fish tanks, some more kids' toys and stuff that are LPs. This could be worth building. I like this. Oh, look at that telly. I'm going to build that. Here's the 11th house. This looks like, yes, this is a big one. There is lots going on. Wow. Let's go <laughs> and take a look inside. I think we have a basement as well. Loads. Okay, this, I feel like this has to be built because it's going to just have a lot of stuff in it lots of LP things I feel got a bit of the uh, pet stuff there got the owl two little owls there they're like the school pets I think this is like a kindergarten isn't it or daycare wow there's so much going on this must have taken so so long to do little TV area little sleeping area there is so much in this house Let's go up to the second floor. Oh my goodness. Is that a bed? I thought that was a balcony and I was like, why is there a bed on a balcony? But no, it is actually a room. <laughs> so much stuff going on. Next floor, again, yeah, there's just loads of stuff. And I'm pretty sure quite a few, but like a few bits of it are LPs and it's probably worth doing. Those pirate beds are so awesome. This is an amazing house. Good job, whoever built this, or daycare centre, I should say. That's cool, that's getting built. Penultimate house, and we've got a couple of floors. Again, gingerbread theme seems to be going on recently, these last few houses, don't they? We have, I feel like, yeah, this is a daycare. So, we should probably have quite a lot. I love these little kitchens, like how adorable are they? So cute. Loads of bricks, loads of toys. Wow. I mean, that kind of hurts my eyes, that floor, if I'm honest. <laughs> but we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Where's this from? This I've seen it before in one of the other houses, but I don't know. What is it? I've never seen it. It's just like a sit-on thing. I've never seen it. And where does it come from? It's not available for me to buy, anyway, in my, uh, in my little shop. Let's go down to the basement. A lot going on. This is very similar to the other one, so has somebody built this before and people have adapted it possibly because this is the same. Or has somebody had like had a YouTube video on like their daycare or something and this has just been Hmm. I don't know, let me know if you know <laughs> down in the comments, please. Just loads of stuff. I feel like, yeah, potentially this has been an architect home before and then people have just built it from the architect homes and then adapted it, maybe. Here is the last house that would cost me a whopping 32 million simoleons if I was to build it. But let's uh, see how many floors we've got. We've just got two floors and a basement. Away from the gingerbread theme 
now and we're back to kind of a normal kind of house as opposed to a daycare and I like that look at that I've never seen anything like that before that's cool I love seeing like little unique design ideas that's what I like about going around the architect teams more than anything like this is a cool study area look at it I like it a lot Go, or, no, we'll go downstairs. I can see. Let's go upstairs. We'll go downstairs first. Little laundry area, bedroom. Nothing crazy. And upstairs in the second floor, a couple of bedrooms with some nice furniture. Again, if you haven't done the events where you get these items of furniture, for me, like I've done all of the events that Sims Three Play has, so I have got these furniture items. But obviously, different events that we've had over the years if you haven't done like the French romance event or the teen life event or the life laundry event if you haven't done those obviously you haven't got the furniture items that go along with them that we've won so for different people obviously different houses mean different things and if they've missed out on things they might want to build the houses but for me there's nothing crazy rare or wonderful in here that I haven't already got but it's good to look at for design tips like that I love that little bar area outside I'm always looking for new patio outdoor areas and how you can do things differently because you can kind of get like stuck in a rut with that I think and same old same old but yeah I like that so that completes a little tour of the 13 architect homes I will definitely be building a couple of these this time let me know down below in the comments if you will build in any and actually if any of them are yours that would be cool if one of the builds was actually a viewer's build but let me know down in the comments and thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys soon for a new video bye